Hey, welcome to my channel and to another weigh-in. This is week three weigh-in on Nutrisystem. Have five more weeks to go on the initial plan that we bought. We bought the um, two month. If you buy two months, then you get it fifty percent off, and that um, deal is still running. And if you do decide, I'm not telling you to go join Nutrisystem. I'm saying if you do decide in my description box there is a referral fee. You get $30 off of your first order and I'll get $30 off my next order. So $30, you know, to me that's good money. <laughs> anyway, how did I do on week three? I weighed in at 311.6 for a loss of 2.6. And that puts me at a total of 65.5. But for, hold on. That puts me at, um, just for Nutrisystem, for the three weeks, 14 pounds. 14 pounds even. I didn't know if I could do it or not. But, well, let me tell you about David. You know, he lost nine pounds his first week. And last week, he stayed the same. He stayed the same. In the Numi app, they don't give you decimal points. They just give you whole numbers. So we don't, well, he remembers his decimal point. I don't remember his decimal point, but the main number was the same number. So he stayed the same. This week, he lost six pounds. So they say that it is common to gain weight your second week because from that drastic calorie reduction, your first kickstart week, to upping you up to where you're supposed to go, they say it's common to gain weight. I just got lucky and lost weight. Well, I don't. You know what? I'm not going to discount myself like that. I'm not going to say it's luck. I have worked for this. I have honestly worked for this. I have not cheated. I have not veered off the program. I have done it exactly like it's supposed to be done, except, hold on a minute. Okay, about to claw my nose off. <laughs> anyway, the, the one thing that I have veered off plan was I've not eaten as much as they tell me to eat. Because I don't think I need that much. You see what I eat in a day. I think I eat a sufficient amount of food. And if I need more food, I have four to five hundred, sometimes more, calories left in a day that I could have. That's a lot of food. You know what you can pack in for 400 calories? Well, a lot of vegetables, but <laughs> some good food too. <laughs> Speaking of the vegetables. Let's, let's drink on the vegetables. <laughs> Quiet, you trash. <laughs> I think I have done a great job on the vegetables. The first week, it was like, listen, it is hot in here. Y'all gonna hold, hold on a minute. Let me go turn my air conditioner on. Okay, it ain't even close to daylight, and I am stifling. I caught a glimpse of my face and it's all red from I'm just hot well it's supposed to be I was watching the news a while ago because ain't nothing on TV 60 degrees today and then close to 80 tomorrow you know my air is going to be on listen if it was tomorrow and weigh in you know where we'd be oh yeah we'd be on the porch so vegetables I think I have done a great job because the first week, the vegetables just about did me in. Well, they're still, poor David, he's like, I just don't know if I can do six months of this. <laughs> not the program, not giving in, not quitting on me, but of the vegetables. He just, I, I don't know if I can go six months of eating vegetables without getting some kind of treat somewhere. I'm like, well, we're going to get a treat. We're going to throw a treat in there, but I can't mess up my momentum right now. I've got it going too good. It's going too good to mess it up by going out to eat. Well, okay. I take it back tomorrow when you watch my, if you watch my menu, we are going to go out to eat, but I'll explain that to you tomorrow. It's on plan going out to eat and it's healthy going out to eat. So I'll let you in on that tomorrow. So even though it's not like you know, sunnies or a fish plate or anything like that. It's still something I don't have to cook. But um, I, I feel like I've got too much of a momentum going to ruin it by eating out. I was somewhere. I was running the errand and I thought, you know what? 
back in the the day ain't that ain't that a time period the day back in the day out and about hungry i'd have drove through and got me something even even when i was on a plan if i wanted something i would get it it, it was not all the time because i would stay on plan uh um the, the different things that i did but then there would be times when i'd be out and i'd be hungry and be like oh okay well i hadn't had a treat in a while i'll go ahead and get a treat well i hadn't had a treat the three weeks now, I know some people say, oh, you can't go three weeks without a treat. Well, we have gone three weeks without a treat. I'm just saying, before, even on Simply Feeling, it seems like we did pretty good there for a while. But if we wanted something, I would work it in, you know, with weeklies. Well, we don't have points. We don't have weeklies. You can fit something in to your formula. That's what I call it, your formula. You can learn how to eat out at restaurants and calculate it to where it fits into your day. I'm not comfortable doing that yet, except for what we're doing this weekend. <laughs> I know. I'll just tell you, that's about stupid. <laughs> Ooh, stay tuned for what she's going to eat out. I'll just tell you. Because if you're going to watch my... um rest of my menu you're gonna watch the rest of my menu and if you're not you're not so I'll just tell you we're gonna eat at Subway there's a um, PDF file about eating out an eating out guide I think is what it's called actually and it tells you okay when you go to this style of restaurant these are the things you should choose and these are the things you should not choose then it gives you some of the um, most common restaurants and some options that you could pick that are healthy and what they would count as far as a Nutrisystem meal, a power fuel, which is your protein or a smart carb, which is obviously your carbs. And if it would be an extra or, or free, I, I don't know if it would even list free, but um, I was looking through there and I was like, none of this is anything I want to do except we got the subway. You can get a six inch, the nine grain bread, veggie delight, I think is what it's called, the veggie, veggie delight. No cheese, no mayonnaise, nothing like that. Just all the veggies you want. And it counts as a Nutrisystem entree for lunch and a vegetable. So what we decided last week was we'll go get the veggie then we'll come home, put our own turkey and cheese on it because we can measure out how much meat we want on it. We can put our own cheese on it, which is three thin slices, so that'll spread down that sandwich really good. If we want mayonnaise, we can count our own light mayonnaise, measure it out and put mustard on it, whatever we want to do to it. So that's going to be how we eat out that'll save me from cooking a meal and feel like that we um treated ourselves but stayed within you know where we want to stay at this time but no i'm not ready i'm not ready to go i'm not ready to try to maneuver a restaurant because let's say um sunny's you know i want my ribs i don't know how to count ribs in a bucket of barbecue sauce Listen, I think barbecue sauce, if it's a, a tablespoon, is an extra. You know how many extras I would be eating up at the Sunny's Barbecue? Woo-wee! That is the one thing that saved me on Simply Feeling. That was because barbecue sauce was on their list of, like, free foods. In your condiment section with different things you can have, you can have barbecue sauce. Did I overdo it? Did I stretch those boundaries? Yeah, I'm sure I did. <laughs> but it was on the list. <laughs> and it ain't on this list. On your freebies, you get like mustard and and vinegar and spices and seasonings and stuff like that. So I've not I've not had too much of a trouble. I don't eat extras every day. Matter of fact, I probably only eat extras couple times a week so if like there's a meal like on the weekend th this past weekend I can't remember what we ate but we had um, 
more you get three extras a day we had we had more than that but i was like in the scheme of the week when there were like six other days or let's just say five days this is five days where we didn't have any extras there's 15 extras that the way i see it in the course of a week if i eat those extras scattered out three a day or if i have extra ones on that one day say i had five that day instead of three I, now I'm not going to eat 15 extras because I think that's, that really is pushing the, the boundaries of, that's playing the program a little bit too um, fast and loose for me, I think. But a few extra ones, like on a special uh, meal, like, because, you know, I flex on the weekends. Well, boy, let me tell you, I don't know when our food's going to be here. I'm thinking, they said my dry goods order would be here, um... Monday, but I think it's going to be here today. You get different uh, updates all the time. They change it on you all the time. And even last time, my frozen food was supposed to be here on Saturday and it showed up on Friday. So it's really kind of hard to tell when you're going to get your food. You can go based on what they tell you, but you just kind of get it when you get it. Well, David's already got his dry goods. It, let, let me tell you. Hold on a minute. I furred my brow. Could you tell? <laughs> we was told, and I guess it is my um, fault. Because you know what they say when you assume you make a ass out of you and me. And I guess I made an ass out of me. We ordered our initial order within minutes of each other. Put mine in, boom, order made. Put David's in, boom, order made. So, I was on the phone with somebody about something else, and he said, my order processed the 21st, be sure to have my changes made by the 18th. Well, when you go on the website, it tells you, um, be sure and have it done by, it was like 6 o'clock on the 20th. Well, I we both did it on the 18th because we're like, well, we don't want to take a chance, and that's when you edit your order. If you don't edit your order, you get the same exact thing you had the month before. So what we picked the month before, not knowing if we liked anything or not, we would get that same thing. So we both, on, on Friday the 18th, we went in and edited our order. David, he got things to match mine, so we had to have meals together and everything. Next thing you know, his um, box of dry food shows up, and I'm like, I opened it up. I'm like, well, how'd you get yours so fast? And I looked in there and I saw two of those little garlic, nasty little flatbread. <laughs> yeah, those things were not good. That's probably the worst thing I've had. Pro probably is. I don't know. Maybe if we had put it in the air fryer or something like that, it might have helped it. But I don't think that would have helped the flavor of the crust. And then the cheese got hard and I don't know. The garlic part was delicious. The little garlic oil that you squeeze around the top. Now, that was good, but it's just the bread lacked a little bit. They put, pro I think, I don't read the ingredients. Maybe I should. I just don't. I eat the food. I read the ingredients on one thing because it tasted funny. And it had whey protein concentrate or something like that in it. So I think they add that to most of their baked goods. That's just what I think without looking at the um, labels because you can taste it. It's not overpowering except for in that flatbread. Anyway, there were two in that box and he was on the couch. I'm like, did you order two of those flatbreads? He said, no. So I got to looking. They sent him the same thing that he had last month. I'm like, hold up. They told us the 18th. So I called. I'm like, I was told if we did it the 18th that we would get our changes. And boy, I'm going to tell you what, that girl was rude to me. She was like, well, what you want me to do about it? I'm like, well, it ain't my fault. I don't know. I, I think you need to change the food. Well, I can't do that. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay. So I didn't argue with her because she hung up on me. I told her, I said, well, can you check my order? Because it's two separate. You can't order two plans together. We had to order mine and we had to order his. I said, well, can you check mine? And I was nice. She was rude. And I said what I need to say, but I was nice. I had a nice tone about me. You can complain and have a nice tone about you. I said, well, can you check mine to make sure if mine was um, changed? She hung up on me, and then I got the survey. 
one, one, and one. <laughs> there went my ugly voice was on the survey. You got ones, honey. So he is going to get the same thing. Now, the only miracle would be is since frozen food hadn't shipped yet, I'm assuming it's not been packed yet. So if they pulled his order the 18th, then it would be the same. If they're not going to pull his order until right before they pack it, then he'll get his food. Y'all keep your fingers crossed. That is what happens. Come to find out, his ship date, processing date, I guess you could say, was the 18th. Mine was the 21st. How did that happen? How did we get three days apart? Yeah. <laughs> Three days apart when we ordered it the exact same moment within just minutes of each other. So I said, well, we'll be sure next week. So I feel so bad for him. He got foods. That he said, he goes, well, there was only a couple things I didn't really care for. He said, I like it. I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. You know, Mr. Just, he's going to be all right. Mr. Copacetic. <laughs> and I'm the one that felt bad. I'm like, well, I didn't want you to have to eat the same things if you didn't really love it. I wanted you to get what you picked. Because he's sitting there at that computer and did his pick. And, you know, I showed him how to do the thing. Everything. So anyway, that's what happened to um, our second month order. But y'all keep y'all's fingers crossed that they don't pull his order. He gets his updated frozen order because it, it's easier if we have some things in common. When I did that the first of the month, I matched up our stuff. And then as it got closer to the end, we're here in week three. No, we're into week four now. We just finished up week three. It's kind of mismatched here and there. And to try to figure out a side that would go with everything equally kind of okay a little bit more difficult but um listen let me tell you this exercise we're talking about we're still talking about weight loss at the moment exercising i've been doing my exercise right well you know i've told you about dance along gal go subscribe if you ain't subscribed i'm telling you go do it so she has um, Bee Gees, and that's what, when I searched out Disco Chair Dance, she's the one that popped up. And actually, Tracy had sent me something that showed me that on it. So when I went to do the own, my own search, she popped up. So I'm like, okay, there's the Bee Gees. So I got three Bee Gees songs. And then she's got, oh, what a night. You know, that's my song. So I went over there, and I mentioned something about September, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Well... She says she would love to um, make me a routine to September. And bless her little heart, she did. And she put my little picture up top and said, requested by moi. And she put my little information down in her description box. And so now I've got, do you remember? 21st night, September. You know that song, Earth, Wind, and Fire. I know y'all know it even though it didn't sound like it from me. So now I got that added to my routine. So I thought that was so sweet. So y'all go over there. Y'all go over there and see my September song and like it and then subscribe to her. Go on, go on and do it. Just go on and do it. So anyway, I am sitting here. What day was it? What is today? Today is Thursday. Must have been Tuesday. I was up late. I think that is the night I was up late because my... um. Video was just taking forever to process in my editing software. And then, oh my gosh, when it gets to YouTube, sometimes the, these little videos I'm putting up for y'all at night, these little three, four, five minute videos, sometimes they take forever to actually go live. So anyway, I was up late. It was like after nine o'clock. <laughs> It was after 9 o'clock and I was still up. <laughs> I was sitting in there on my chair and David called. And I never, when he's not home and he's supposed to be in his truck or even if he's just supposed to be somewhere and he calls, it worries me because he don't call. He's not a talker. I told y'all that we talk about that in our tags. He's not a talker. When I say he's not a talker, I mean he's not a talker. He don't call. He, he don't call just to talk. If he calls, there's a reason. 
Everything the man does, there's a reason behind it. There ain't no just, there's no fluff. He has no fluff in his life. <laughs> I think I'm all fluff. I talk enough for the both of us. I, I just tell him all kind of stuff, whether he wants to hear it or not. He don't tell me, he don't tell me nothing. He don't tell me nothing. There is this, um, oh my gosh, I wish I could remember who did it is one of them prank phone callers and he's calling into the funeral home and pretend to like he's just checking on his aunt. I don't know. And they tell him who's down there. He's like, nobody told me nothing. It is so funny. The phone calls he makes. So David don't tell me nothing. Anyway, he called and said, David say, I'm like, Oh my Lord. What? He said, well, I'm headed home. They rotated me off. See, what they do is, if they don't have enough freight, they they got to rotate and schedule. So they they rotate you where you get a night off. So he headed on back home that night. But if they show up at work and they send them home, they still have to pay them for two hours. Now, he gets paid by the mile, but when he's on the clock doing certain things, he gets paid by doing the certain things like hooking a pup. He'll get paid for doing that. But then if he's on the clock for other things, not driving, on duty, not driving, then he gets paid by the hour. So... <laughs> And I'm going to tell you, let me tell you, let me just, let me just tell you. It confuses the snot out of me. But that man, he's got it down. When he gets his paycheck, he has already got, I'm not, I am not joking to you. When he gets his paycheck, he's got it down to the penny. I don't know how he figures out his taxes and everything, but he's got it down in his quicken, and he knows exactly how much money he's supposed to get paid. <laughs> and if it's wrong, he got the calculator out. He he calculate. I'm telling you, <laughs> he don't use calculator on the computer. He's just old school. He got the little calculator in the drawer. He he boy, he's in there. He's doing. It. <laughs> You don't mess with the man's money. That's one thing you don't mess. You don't mess with some some things with him, and one of them is money. Just don't mess with his money. Just don't. Just don't do it. <laughs> so, all right. So anyway, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. I'm sitting back here. <sighs> What's it? What day did we go to Ollie's? We is no, this is Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Maybe they rotated him Monday. I done forgot. I think they rotated him Monday. So he did he had the whole weekend off and then had him Monday off. That's what it was. Cause when he come in from work Tuesday, I think who cares? One day I'm sitting back here the in, in the room and I know they were calling for rain, but I couldn't hear the rain and I didn't think it was actually raining. So I'm sitting back here. And I was watching some YouTube videos. And of course it's not close to daylight. And I hear something. And I stop and I listen. I'm like, okay. Maybe it's starting to thunder. So I didn't think nothing of it. But I hear it again. I perk up. I pause my video. And I listen. I'm like, is it thundering? Another varmint. Yes! O-M-G. Right here. Right under my room. The other one was back here in the corner. This one was right over here, like under the window. Clawing and... I'm like, oh my gosh. If we go... <laughs> if we go through that again, I'm just quitting. <laughs> so, when David got home, I said, did you get my text? Because I texted him, O-M-G, we got another varmint. He goes, no, I hadn't checked my phone. And that aggravates me too. He don't check his phone. I could call and tell him anything. And half the time, he don't never check his phone. He, he's just, he, that's just David. He's like, no, I didn't check my phone. I'm like, we got another varmint. He looked at me. He goes, what? I said, yes. Yeah. So we went on to Ollie's and we come back and we had had some real bad winds here. And I got some flowers out on my little um, wicker stand out on the front porch. And when I went out that morning, they had blowed out, and so I had picked them up off the porch. Well, I noticed they had blowed some in the front yard, so when we come home from Ollie's, when I back into my parking place, I'll pull up. We got that big tree in the front yard. I'll pull up at that front tree and then back up into things. So I pulled up at that front tree. I said, honey, would you mind popping out there and get my flowers? 
So he got out there and he got my flowers. And well, he walked around the house because the door to under the house had not blown down fr from the wind. So he walked around to see if any of the vents had blown out. And sure enough, this one right here, which is right under my window, was cocked out a little bit. He said, that's must have been where it got in. I said, well, I didn't hear it again, so maybe it come in, did its thing, and went back out. Listen, it could have been that same squirrel coming in here hunting up his ac um, acorns and his pecans. <laughs> and so when we had that last, when we had that last one, uh, they was like, okay, now I want you to go out here on the front porch. It's still, it's still cold. I've got my house going on and everything. He said, I want you to go out here and stand on the porch over there where the opening to the under the house is. He goes, and see if you can <laughs> see it come out. So he's over here. He, 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 I think he got the broom or something. He's, he's knocking around, knocking around, knocking around. Ain't nothing coming. I'm sipping my coffee. I don't hear nothing for a little bit. So I'm still standing there. He didn't tell me to move. So I'm still standing there watching, seeing if the, the, but what, what it, we didn't know what it was. We we had we didn't know if it was like a possum or a raccoon. We didn't know. Next thing I know, I'm standing on the porch and I hear. This is loud. I'm like, what is this man doing? <laughs> he come around, he come around the corner of the house. Oh, that way. <laughs> He's like, did you see anything? I'm like, no. He got his weed eater and stuck it up through that vent. <laughs> Trying to scare that. <laughs> it was the fun. Maybe you had to be there. It was the funniest thing. Oh, my gosh. It was the funniest thing. So, he got everything. We, we left it open there for a little bit to see if we could get it out, right? Well, he eventually didn't hear nothing. I, I think's how it worked, and he he shut it up or whatever. He left it open. I can't remember how it worked. So anyway, y'all, most of you know, we have a built-in carport, which we're soon, soon, fingers crossed, going to fix. Well, it was a room when Mama had it, but we ripped it out when we did the rest of the house, thinking we were going to get to that. We never did. So it's just, it's just a, a, it's got a floor. We ripped. The, she had paneling up. We ripped all that off. So it's just. It's just a junk room, and right now it's full of junk, let me tell you. So he wants to rip up the floor. He wants to rip up the pad, the, the concrete, um, um, the carport under it, the driveway, the part under it, you know, that you drive on. What am I trying to say? You know what I'm saying, the, the concrete part. So he's wanting to do all that. Well, anyway... That's where the back door is. So the back door, like if you see me in there when I did my Ollie's Hall, that white door behind us, behind that white door is the carport. So that's the big room. Well, he, we got the freezer out there right now. He opened the door. He was either going to leave, he was going to get something out of the freezer. I don't know what he's going to do. He always sat in my chair. He opened the door. He shut that door up real quick and he goes, I know what it is. I'm like, what? He goes, it's a squirrel. I'm like, <laughs> He goes, because he's trying to get out that hole over there in the wall. <laughs> the fuse box used to be on the side of the house over here. And so when we moved some wires and then we got the fuse box back here, we, we had tore the, the, the end of that room at the front where the window is, was a utility room at the front part of the carport. And so it had actual sheetrock in it. So we had ripped that sheetrock down, um, ripping out some electrical wires. Well, the ceiling is the the actual rafters, but it is black plastic because it had been open. We were getting dirt daubers, and I'm going to tell you what, a dirt dauber sting is one of the most painful things you will ever feel. I told him, I said, you better get that thing covered. So they got the heavy black plastic. RJ come over here. They, you know, got some little fur and strips. They, so they got it all up. Well, the wind will get it sometimes. And so it's made a flap over in this one corner. So <laughs> that squirrel, I do not know how the, I don't know how these varmints work. I just don't know. Somehow it got from under the house, which there is a hole between the carport and the house where 
they had knocked it through to run some electricity over there when Mama had the room. So somehow the squirrel got up through the house, up into the see the the attic, and when he had opened that door, I guess it scared him. I don't know. He jumped down out of the, <laughs> the ceiling and ran over and hit the wall and was trying to get out through the hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the living daylights out of David. <laughs> I don't know really if it scared the squirrel more than it scared David. So I think what happened, the squirrel, he he got back out. I think he went back up through the, because he didn't come up in the house because David got that door shut. And I'm trying to think, I can't remember now how we got him out of the house, but he got out of the house finally. And so anyway, it was a squirrel. So I'm guessing that was a squirrel. <laughs> That was a squirrel too. So anyway, that's my <laughs> that's my varmint story. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you this. Down the road okay, where I sit on the porch, all that used to be woods. We broke ground on that porch and it was woods and I was so excited because I could look at the woods. We've even had deer come out of them woods. Wildlife over there, you know, just just woods. Just no houses, and now all of a sudden there's like, I don't know, nine houses or something, like four in front of me, and maybe five down that way, so when I when I look, there's a house here in front of me, and right behind that house, straight down the side road over here that all these people, you know, speed up and down, it's them houses, well, two houses behind the house in front of me had their car stole, because my cousin lives in front of them, and she called me up in here whatever day that was, and she said, the people in front of me, the car was stole. I said, what you talking about? She said, and they live on a steep incline, so it's not like they were just sitting in some little driveway where they could just, you know, do their whatever, however they steal it. I, I don't know how they stole it, because it's a newer model car, and she said, the man works at night, and so the woman's home with three children by herself. That's why I think somebody, I think somebody knowed them. I think it was um, somebody that knowed them and knowed she was there by herself and maybe thinking she couldn't do nothing to defend it. You see what I'm saying? Said that she, um, they pushed it. She said you could see the black marks on the driveway where they pushed it. I told David, I said they drug it down the, um, driveway and left black marks. He goes, no, they didn't drag it. They pushed it. I'm like, Whatever, Mr. Literal. They got it down <laughs> they got it down the driveway with the wheels locked up. And somehow and I looked it up on the internet because I'm like, there's no way they say these computer these um newer cars you have to like bypass the computer. The computer has to do some little thing in the ignition before it will start. You can't just go in there and straight wire cars like you used to could in the good old days. <laughs> not that I've ever done that. Really I have not. Um so I'm like, I don't, she says she heard it start up and somehow they caught the boys. I don't know. I don't know how she heard it and they didn't get in it and they didn't speed off fast enough to where the police didn't catch them. Couldn't, couldn't find them. But they, she said they caught them. The woman hadn't got her car back yet, which I don't understand that. But, um, so I went on the internet and I looked and sure enough, there is different ways you can do to bypass that computer, to get in the car, to start the car. Yeah, I don't, listen, thieves, crooked people, they will find a way to do anything. So I told David, like, like anybody wants his little Honda, <laughs> but it was a Toyota Camry. And if I'm not mistaken, I think a Camry is the number one stolen car. Uh, back years ago, I had read that, that it was the number one stolen car because um, they chop it up and sell the parts. So... I don't, I don't know. I think, I think it's somebody that, because sitting in the middle of all these houses, it's not like they're out of the way where, where they couldn't be seen. And then on this big steep driveway, I don't know. There's just something hinky about it. That's all I know. There's something hinky about that. But I don't like, I don't like the thoughts of somebody stealing the car just three houses down from me. I don't like that at all. But I told David, I said, you better start locking your car up 
because he leaves his little ditty bag in there. That's the little bag he carries his log book and all kind of stuff in it. If they even still do paper logs, I don't know. He's got some paperwork he has to do, but everything is logged in on the computer now. So, yeah, that's what happened around here. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Well, I think that's all I was going to tell you. I think I done come. <laughs> I think I done come up with everything that I I had on my mind. So let's recap. Three eleven point six minus two point six for a total of sixty five point five and a total of fourteen Nutrisystem. Oh, right over here in my little. When I said the word Nutrisystem, I seen this right at, out the side. Check out what I got. Is let's see. Why are your hands sticking up like that? Anyway, he's a called a Nutra Bear. My little ten pound bear for um my first ten pounds. Now it said order your bear or your band, and I thought, oh well, maybe there's bands that add on to him somehow as you add weight, you know, pounds off. Well, no, there's apparently some kind of water bottle or something that you could add your bands too so i don't know if the, he's like a uh okay here's your 10 pounds and you get this or if they have increments where they give you different other kind of bears i'm not sure but i thought he was cute i got david's ordered yesterday wednesday yeah when he weighed in and he hit his 10 pounds and he said well it's actually 15 i'm like honey i know <laughs> i know that but they give it to you for your first 10 yeah I'm telling you, y'all think I'm joking when I tell you that man analyzes everything to death. He analyzes and overthinks every single thing. And he is Mr. Literal. I tell him, I say, okay, Mr. Literal. <laughs> He's so funny. Oh, my gosh. Sometimes I can pinch his head off. <laughs> so, anyway, I, I thought, well, he earned his bear. He's going to get his bear, too, over here on his um dresser on his side of the room he's got like a, a big model truck from when we worked where we used to work where we met he's got one of those and some other little trucking type things and so and the colors up there the color where he works at now is red and our old company was red red and black and so the little red bear he'll look cute sitting up there yes i'm making him get it <laughs> He earned it. He's getting it. So that'll do it for me today. I hope everybody's having a good week. I'll be back tomorrow with my um, flex menu. I'm flexing a lot this week. That's why I think I was saying earlier, since we didn't know when our food's coming, I'm flexing out a lot of meals, and I plan them that way to make sure we stay on track. Because I I don't want to just just because I don't have the food use that excuse. Well, oh, I don't have my Nutrisystem food. I I I'll eat whatever I want. No, I'll eat what they say you can eat on flex days, and you can do your flex. We're supposed to get two two flex days a week, but until you get your food, then you flex it until then. So that's what I'm doing. I'm flexing it until then. I'm not using it as an excuse. Well, I don't have my food, so I I can't eat right. Yes, I can eat right. I have proven to myself that I can eat right, y'all. I have proven to myself that I can eat a normal por portion of food at, at a sitting. Sometimes my plates look really full of food. And when I look at the videos, I'm like, my gosh, that looks like a humongous plate of food. Sometimes they're on small plates and it looks like the plate is this big because I think that camera is so close up. It makes it look like there's pounds and pounds of food on this ginormous plate when sometimes it's a small plate sometimes it's a regular plate and the the ginormous portions are the vegetables if i do have a ginormous portion so sometimes i have like four different things on my plate because i try to i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying, I'm trying to get two vegetables in per meal which would be <laughs> I got the TV on over here and I seen something red jumping around. I'm like, what is going on? It is that Geico commercial where that ex-football player is out there jumping. Go get some cold cuts today or something like that. That is funny. I, I don't remember who he is. He told who he is. Anyway, I seen him jumping out over there. 
I try to get in two vegetables when I cook supper. So then we have two vegetables left for David to take. And then if there's anything left, I'll have two vegetables for my lunch the next day. Sometimes there's not anything left. Because if I don't get mine out first and go ahead and, you know, put it in the refrigerator, then whatever vegetables are left, I just let him take what he wants and I don't say nothing about it because he's a hardworking man. He's cut back a lot. He works hard and he's cut his food back and so I know he's hungry. He's he's doing the program the best he can do too. And so if he wants like all the vegetables, I let him have all the vegetables. So I'm trying to um, make sure we have that. So if if my plate is like that nutritionist said, have vegetables, then I'm fine with it because, well, first of all, they don't count the vegetables in, in, in against you on the calories. Those, I guess, because they don't want you to not eat them to stay below your calories. So you can eat all the vegetables you want and then they don't count it in your calories. So anyway, that's it for me today. I was quite pleased with my um, way in and I guess I have bit y'all's ear long enough so i will see you tomorrow in my weekend menu plan and okay well i'll see you tomorrow i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>